I was the editor of the Hillel News in college. Nothing serious, nothing real. Then at one point I decided I had enough. I want to go to Israel for a while, to Palestine. I came in 46 to Jerusalem. I started working at the Post. February 1st, 1948. It was a Sunday night, which is always slow. And I was sitting at my desk in the press room, reading Moby Dick. When the explosion went off, the book took a fragment. It would have hit me otherwise. The offices of the Palestine Post, the Zionist Daily, published in English, were partly demolished and set on fire. Marlon Levin, who was a reporter, was not sitting at his regular desk. Fortunately for him, because a piece of metal from the window came flying across where Marlon would have been sitting, would have taken his head off. The linotyper I would have been standing with at the time, he was hit by the flying lead, or flying brass rather, from the linotype machine, and he was blinded. And I remember after the bombing, going downstairs, and I called out and he said, Mordechai, kachotilam again David. Actually, there was a Hadassah uh, office or branch or something right across on Hatzolel Street, which was a t really a terrible day. But so how'd you get the paper out? Every journalist in town came with a typewriter. We rewrote the paper from memory. We went to Lipschitz Press, and all the newspaper guys met us there and uh, we did it.